can Samsung DeX replace a laptop? Today we have the Tab S4 and I will go through all the accessories you should buy if you are gonna use Samsung DeX and whether Samsung DeX can really replace your laptop. Let's start off with the accessories. First thing, you will definitely need a mouse. A mouse will make everything much more convenient as there's no trackpad in the keyboard. I personally choose this uh, Logitech M191 mouse as this mouse only costs about $15. It doesn't break your bank and it has all the bells and whistles that a more expensive one would do. In the unboxing, it's wrapped in a nice little packet and there's an instruction manual. Other than that, that's all you get in the box. Taking out the seal, we finally can see this plastic build of the Logitech. And then if you slide down, you can see the battery compartment and this is the part. This small little USB plug has all the information that will transmit to whatever you plug it into. In this case, we'll plug it into the Tab S4. But how do you plug it in? The Tab S4 is USB-C. And that's where this second accessory comes in. For $5, this is the Ugreen USB to USB Type-C adapter. And this is quite premium for the price you are paying already. $5 is quite expensive for adapter. Inside, you get the Ugreen adapter. It feels adapter. very premium, like this aluminium build with the matte finish make it look, feel, look and feel very classy. Inside the box, you also do get a thank you uh, instruction manual as well as a small little chain. You are supposed to put it in to the adapter so you can like just hang it around. With this adapter, we can finally use our Tab S4 with the mouse. And speaking of the mouse, how about the pad? So for the mouse pad, you can always choose all the brands that you want. All should be okay. The main objective to reduce the friction between the mouse and the surface. I picked this one up for about 8 bucks and it really covers the whole surface and reduce friction like what it's supposed to do. Next is finally the Tab S4 book cover keyboard. And first thing, the presentation is very nice. Opening is also quite satisfying although it's a plastic container, a plastic lid. And once you flip it open, there's a quick start guide. Samsung's pretty consistent with their accessories unboxing experience. And as this is the first party accessories, the Tab S4 just sticks right in although it takes a bit of press. However, the problem with the Tab S4 book cover keyboard is that it cannot be tilted and it's only at one position if you want to use the keyboard. So that's why we have this. This is a laptop positioning stand. Right now, it just seems like a slab of plastic. But once you open it up, you'll realize it's actually quite useful, especially when the Tab S4 is at a fixed position. So you just clip both securely and everything works quite well. It's very smooth. It takes about half a minute to dismantle or set it up. And once set up, it will look something like this. It will reduce your neck strain, especially when you're sitting down and typing on your laptop or the Tab S4. Lastly, you might need more USB power ports. So the Bezos power hub is here to help. So this Bezos power hub provides you extra USB slots. And normally Bezos products are normally one of the most fun to unbox. This time around because of the raised curve, this is a bit harder to unbox but nonetheless, the experience is about the same. It's pretty consistent and in a good way. So first thing we have the power hub which is in two pieces of plastic. We have an instruction manual which is very nicely printed and we also have fun stickers to play with. That's what I like about Bezos with the unboxings. And you also get a warranty card. So this is $15 but it feels very complete. I did get an offer for $10 because I bought it on a quick sale. And here's the hub. So there's light emitting out from the bottom and you have a total of 4 ports and a micro USB port. So with this, your setup should be complete. You can ditch your Ugreen thing because you don't really need that. That only gives you one port. And opt for this twice or about yeah, twice the price of the U Green adapter. However, I do wish that Bezos can make something with a longer wire, as this is too short, especially when I use the stand. Before using the Galaxy Tab S4 as my laptop, let's dig in more about the Galaxy Tab S4 first. So this is the Galaxy Tab S4. At the front, you get a display, I think it's a 10.5 inch one, a pretty massive. At the side, we have our SIM card tray as well as SD card tray, depending on whether you have the Wi-Fi or LTE model. And we also have our volume rockers as well as the power button. This aluminium front, once you flip it to the back, you can see that it's all glass. And at the top, we have a camera as well as a flash. Samsung logo as well as the uh, sound by AKG uh, being flushed into the glass. 
Now you are getting a 10.5 inch display. It is a Super AMOLED one. So you know Samsung is always good at displays. And this tablet is no exception. While this is a 60Hz panel, it's not a 120Hz or it's not that fluid. But the resolution is very high, sitting at 2K or Quad HD. It has a wider aspect ratio of 18 to 10 and it gets very bright especially you have no problems during day use. So tablet cameras don't usually get a good reputation and it is true because most tablet cameras are really lacking some things with not much effort put into it and sometimes the resolution is absolute horrendous. But this Galaxy Tab S4 has a rather good camera. The result speaks for itself. Details are good, saturation is great and I've got to say that I'm pretty impressed with the camera we got here. And it also can shoot in 4K, well, although this is 1080p. And it's very stable, surprisingly, because it has optical image stabilization. What's not so cool about the Galaxy Tab S4 is that this has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset. And even worse, 4 gigs of RAM, which is worrying unless you get a 256GB model, which has 6 gigs of RAM. But overall, day-to-day -day use, this should be very smooth and good enough. It runs Android 10 and has Samsung's One UI pre-installed in it. It's One UI 2 now and I'm quite a fan of Samsung's One UI. So now time for some real-world usage. So first thing I'll do when I get up in the morning is to check all my emails. And today looks like I have one interesting one which is requesting me to buy a phone for a review. As I was curious, I spent the next 30 minutes researching and learning more about the phone. A cool thing you can try is going down to the menu and tapping desktop mode. Desktop mode will give you a PC-like experience with Google Chrome and I highly recommend anyone thinking of using this as a working device to try it out. After research, it's time to audit one of the photos, which is really hard to do because there's no dedicated software to edit any photo or any types of videos on Samsung DeX. But you can try going to the Galaxy Store where you can find a ton of apps optimized for Samsung devices and I recommend Adobe Lightroom for photo editing and for video editing, I would definitely recommend Adobe Premiere Rush for Samsung on the Galaxy Store. While the options aren't really the best, it's durable and I managed to get it done and the results are quite okay, I guess. After that, I did check out my YouTube analytics on YouTube Studio and it's just a mobile site. I then proceeded to watch some YouTube videos on a phone that I'm really curious in and spent about half an hour learning about the phone. Next, I needed to research more about the Samsung devices gang One UI 3 and I went to Samsung members for that. I'm researching this for my upcoming video about the One UI 3 and it should be dropping in in about a week. I needed to transfer some of my files from one SD card to another. So I took out my SD card adapters put them in, slot it into the USB slot, and started transferring the files. It took quite a while as there's a few 4GB files, mainly videos, and after transferring them, I decided to place the touch light for a while, and the micro USB port works. Basis is very good with their product. After using the Galaxy Tab S4 as my laptop for a day, and I spent about 4 and a half hours of screen on time and was ready to call it a day. The 7100 mAh battery hold up very well, and at the end of the day, I'm happy to report that I have 38% left. What a day it has been. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.